good times, they grow up twirling and cartwheeling. Romanian children all seem to play gymnast. And their imagination takes them to Deva, the place where those twirling dreams can come true. Where they can become the princesses of gymnastics. It is a place that makes world champions team that's won gold or silver in the last five Olympics. They are the country's biggest celebrities, but they're teenagers. Did you think they would be so different from teenagers here? They're a family, and their togetherness shows up everywhere. So see the Romania that isn't a fairy tale. This is downtown Bucharest, another place Romanian children know about. And these are the leftovers of a brutal dictator named Nicolae Ceausescu. He created a skeleton city, and with it, thousands of orphan children. kids living like this. But Romania is a nation of believers. And in that faith, students led a Christmas revolution in 1989. Boys and girls overthrowing a government. Dying for freedom. And so on Sundays, Parents clean the grave markers of children they have buried, children sacrificed for a future. How much a Romanian child has already known, dark nights and a return of sunshine, these are lessons that aren't supposed to be learned until adulthood. And what of the dreams? Before, gymnastics was a tool the government used to decorate its image. Now, it is the inspiration of hope and healing. New faces to celebrate something so Romanian. And in each, a reason to believe. As Romania reaches for gold, the kids will look to Milo, Lavinia Milosevic, for strength. In Simona Amenar, they see a gymnast of grace. The sparkle is in Alexandra Marinescu. She's the one they compare to Nadia. Gina Gojin, the lesson of perseverance. Look into her eyes. She is the face of the nation. It's a team that's put together by a man who has lived in a one-room dormitory for 15 years. Octavian Bellu, who keeps the dream alive. Yet another face of the country of Romania, Alexandra Marinescu. She is the youngest member of the team here, but she is also considered to be the most proficient. She has been compared by the entire country to Nadia Comaneci. And Nadia has said she is flattered by that comparison. The beam awaits her. The beam was the one event 
that caused so many problems for this team. However, Alexandra was wonderful, wonderful on this event. Top score. The Romanians have endured many hardships here in Atlanta. When they arrived to train, this young lady, Anna Maria Pican, seriously injured her knee. You see her leaving the hospital earlier today. Seriously injured her knee, had to have surgery, and she was out for the games. They lost another young lady, and now they're only competing with six. All the rest of the teams on the floor have seven members. The pressure is on for Alexandra Marinescu. two days ago. These are the flashier, more difficult exercises for the women. Oh, she's fighting. First serious tumbling series. Very artistic gymnast. The Romanians are having an incredible run on beam here. We're seeing great gymnastics all around this gym. You heard me mention that problem with Anna Maria Bikan having surgery on her knee. Also, Lavinia Milosevic, team captain, sprained her ankle. Andrea Kokovan suffered an injury. She did not make the trip to Atlanta. They were, as soon as they got here, demoralized. Whoa! And that was close. Very, very close, almost sat that down and would have been a mandatory deduction, but somehow held on. Also, Tim, I know she took out a major skill that she's been performing all week long. It was a full twisting skill, very risky, but here on the dismount, almost sat this one down. The Ukrainians were in fourth position, entering this first group rotation, and... Lilia Pokopayeva is next to go on the floor exercise. You heard the same music over and over again the last couple of days in the men's and women's compulsories. You may select your own music for the optionals. She is my favorite gymnast in this competition because she combines the artistry with the athleticism so well. Watch this first tumbling pass. Incredible. Double front with a half twist. The Americans are finished on bars. They will rotate next to the beam. The Russians are just finishing up on floor.
got a treat. But the final tumbling pass, this is really a shame because she prides herself on sticking those landings. This was the final run, one step out, but that means one tenth. She's marching to her next rotation before she gets her score. By the way, Alexandra Marinescu's score on the balance beam was a rather low 9.60.